everyone welcome back to my youtube channel how you are doing hope you're doing good so we're going to be making an off shoulder padded blouse today if this is your first time here you're welcome please subscribe like and share my video so let's get started and before we start i would like to show you guys the the style we're making today this is what we're going to be making today i'll be using organza for the sleeve that is the upper part then the down part i'll be using satin fabric and then the normal body will be a lace fabric these are the items we need for this tutorial. We'll be needing one and a half yards of lace fabric, one and a half yards of satin fabric, half a yards of organza, and uh, one and a half yards of lining. So I will be using this pattern paper to cut out the fabric. So I drafted this pattern paper in one of my videos. I will link it in the description box below. You have to watch that one first before watching this one. So I will be transferring this pattern paper to my fabric. So it's an off shoulder padded blouse. So what I will do is to spread my lace fabric and lining, spread my fabric on the table. And I will transfer this, I've done series of this video. And I will transfer this to my fabric. I will do the same thing to the back side. I also made a sleeve tutorial, it's front, back and sleeve tutorial. So I will link it in the description box below. I'll go ahead and transfer the pattern to the fabric and the lining before we join everything together. I've transferred the pattern to the fabric. These are the three front pieces and these are the two back pieces. So I cut out just two for the back. I'll be adding that to the back. So for the front panel, I cut out two linings for each pieces two for this, two for this, and two for this one. So I'll be lining this one first. I will take this one. This is the shiny side. This is the right side. This right side, and this is the wrong side of the lace fabric. So I will sew it here, sew it here, sew it there. I will sew this side also. Then after I've done that, I will cut out my interfacing. I would add my interfacing here. So my interfacing started from here. I came down one inch from the shoulder line up to the under bust measurement that is the interface in for this side i did the same thing for this side also and i came down one inch from the shoulder then just trace it and cut it out up to under bust measurement so I'll, I'll do the same thing on this side also i'll go ahead and sew the lining to the lace fabric then i will press i will use a pressing iron and they press this interface into the fabric that is to this part of the to the lining on this side i will use the other lining to cover up this lining that is why i cut out two linings for the front part the length of my blouse is 27 inches so this is 21 inches i minus six inches for the off shoulder so we have 27 inches i'll be using one inch for sewing allowance and i'll be left with a 26 inches that's the length of the blouse finish sewing the lining and then press the interface into the fabric so I will join this together. I will start sewing it right from the bottom. Sew it to the end here. Be patient while sewing it because it can be difficult sewing the cup here. So you sew it to this side and sew the other side again. Start right from the bottom. I will do the same thing to the other lining. Just sew it right from the bottom to the upside. So for the back side, you make sure the right side of the lace is facing the wrong side of the lining. So after sewing it around, the shoulder, the sleeve, the side, this side, then I will turn it right from this place. Make sure you give it a good press. So I will add the zip to the back side. So I will sew the zip, I will take one inch on this side and take one inch on this side and attach the zip to the back side. Finish adding the zip to the back side. So I make sure I take my data allowance before adding the zip to it. I folded one side into two. 
So I started the dots right from here, right from the chest line, and I sew it all the way down. Normally I'm supposed to stop three inches above the hip line, but she, this is how she wanted. She wanted me to bring the dots down. So this is the back side. So for the front one, I've also sewn the, the sides together. And this is the lining. I sew the lining separately as well. So what I'm going to do is to turn them together. I will lay the lining against the, the lace fabric. So I'll make sure I pin them together. On the right side are facing each other. I will sew the neckline, sew the armhole, the both sides. This place will be left unsewed. That is where I'm going to turn my blouse from. So I'll finish sewing them now. So make sure you make a notch around, then turn it inside out. I'll make a top stitch with the neckline here. I will just hem the bottom here. Take half inch, take half inch. That's the line and then I will sew it. I will sew it inside here. Because of the damp savage here, I don't want to sew cut this side out. So I will just hem the lining inside. So I'm going to be joining them together now. You lay the front and the back against each other. So I'll be taking the the exact measurement, the bust measurement, the waist and the hip measurement. Let me press it down. Mark it here, this is the... Make a mark there. Then I will place the waist measurement also. And her hip measurement is 47 divided by 2. That is 23 and a half. I'll sew right from the armhole to the bottom. Same thing to the other side. Then I will show you guys how we can make the, the ruffle, the sleeve ruffle at the bottom. So I'll finish um, sewing both sides together. So this is the effect of the pad. You can see. I will set this aside. We're going to be making the sleeve now. This is the sleeve I cut out. Remember I said I'll be using organza for the sleeve, for the upper part of the sleeve, and the damp part will be ruffled. So I cut out this organza sleeve. Um, the video on how I drafted the organza sleeve is also in that, the one I'm going to link in the description box below. I drafted the, the front, the back, and the sleeve. There's no need of us going over it again. So I will link it to the description box below. That is why I say you have to watch it before watching this one. And I just wanted to add some details to it. I cut out some patches from the lace fabric. Stitch it to the organza. That is the upper part of the sleeve. So for the sleeve, the upper part is um, 12 and a half inches. And I'm going to be making the damp part 7 inches because it's a three quarter sleeve. So for this, I cut out about uh, 9 inches. Um, the length is 9 inches. And the wideness is 17 inches. I don't need 17 inches. I cut out 17 inches because by the time I will put the ruffles, obviously this one is going to be shortened. So instead of me having a short uh, fabric, it's better I add more to it. For the round sleeve, I have 14 inches here. And here... I cut out about uh, 17 inches. After I'm making adding the ruffle, I will come back to that 14 inches. For the ruffle, I cut out um, six inches or six and a half inches, and I cut out 22 inches for the wideness because I'm going to be making a gather stitch. Before I gather it, it will come back to the normal 14 inches. That is for the round sleeve. So this is 6 inches, so what I'm going to do is to fold it into two. So I'll use the gather stitch to run it here, I'll gather it to the measurement, to the round measurement. So this is the one I've gathered so far. So what I'm going to do next is to grab this one 
and start sewing it right from here. You can use pin to hold the ruffle. So I'm pinning the ruffle down to the, the plain fabric. So I'm going to be cutting out six of these. This is the first one. Then I will take the second one. Just move one inch from the first one. Pin it again. So I'm taking the third one again. I said I cut out about six. Take the fourth one. I'll do it all the way. So I'll do it all like that. So if I will just sew it line by line, if I finish sewing the first one, then sew the second one, the third, the fourth, up to the sixth one. After I've done that, I will just cut out the excess fabric I have here. If there is any, then I will just, I will, I will use this to cover up the, the rough edges here. Then I will take this, take the upper part of the sleeve, and I'll attach them together, and I'll turn it to this side and make sure the right side are facing each other. As you can see, remember I cut out 19 inches for this normal fabric. After stitching, sewing the ruffle to it, it came back to 14 inches. So you have to be careful while doing it because the ruffle will shorten the, the fabric. So this is the, the ruffle. So after joining them here, and now we sew the side together. Make sure this place they are lined together. We sew it here before we attach it to the blouse. I finished sewing the sleeve. This is one part of the sleeve. I've attached the other one to the blouse. So I'm going to be attaching this to the blouse. So I will join this side together. So I'll take this one on the pin it to the side. And I'll take this other one to this side. If I pin it, I hem this upper part one a quarter of an inch and they turn it again a quarter of an inch. So we sew it right from here, attach the sleeve to the blouse. This is the finished look of the blouse. This is the sleeve. The side. This is the back. So this is the off shoulder blouse. She's actually going to be wearing it with a wrapper. I guess you all know how to cut out a wrapper. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and join us on our Facebook group at Cynthia's Fashion House. I will see you on my next one. Love you. Bye.